KI4NQM. Good morning, Roger, on a short time. Well, good morning, Joe. What a beautiful day. Let's go out there and enjoy it, for sure. Well, let's see if we got a little bit of wisdom for us this morning. Harmony seldom makes a headline. Well, there you go. Put a great big smile on your face and pass it on. KI4 and Karen, back to net control. WX4. Hey, Roger. Very good. A happy Easter weekend to you. And uh, thanks for your philosophy this morning here on the uh, Sunshine Net. And uh, you have a good day. This is the Sunshine Net looking for any short time, mobile, or handheld. This is the ICOM IC471A a UHF uh, Almo transceiver ham radio. Um, this radio is from the late 80s, early 90s. It's actually a very good rig. Let's see what it can do. So it powers up. We're at 444.6. Um, show you a little bit of the controls here. Like I said, it's all mode, frequency modulation, upper sideband, oops, lower sideband, CW, NFM, this is the squelch. We can set for different tones. Here we have microphone gain and RF power. The output power of this rig is 25 uh, watts maximum. I'll show you that in a minute but you can lower it to about 1 watt with this adjuster. Uh, RF gain, AF gain, it's good volume. It has a separate transmit receive button, you want to set that uh, manually. Here we have the uh, settings for the uh, uh, repeater function. This is the offset, you can set that, but 5 is default for uh, for 70 centimeters what on which this rig operates we can set uh, plus duplex we can set it off we can go for minus duplex and we can turn on the tone it has built-in tone squelch PL tones uh, so you can turn it on or off and here you can uh, set that now you probably wonder what a weird tone that is six but the rig has in the manual basically a, a lookup table so here are the tones that it can do the standard PL tones this is the uh, code setting for that on the display so for instance if I set it for for 11 just to pick something 11 corresponds to 97.4 is what I'm active at now and that will be transmitted on my outgoing signal. Um, let's see what uh, what else we have. We have uh, there is a Vox built-in Vox built-in noise blanker, AGC for the receiver, uh, fast or slow I would assume. Meter you can set the meter for different uh, functions. Preamp I would assume this is a receiver preamp. Mode S, I have no idea what that means. I guess you will tell me in the comment section. Uh, we have here uh, 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 buttons to manipulate the memory. We can go to A or B. VFO A or B. Here you can copy A to B. We can go from VFO to memory. I think the rig has, uh, well, we can see that, 32 memories. Uh, here you can write the memories and here you can copy memory to VFO. A uh, receiver increment tuning and here you activate that. It's digital. and You can clear it and turn it off again. This is uh, slow tuning, fast tuning and slow tuning. You see now it does 1 kilohertz steps and now it does 5 kilohertz steps in the FM mode. Split frequency I can do one megahertz steps here. If I go to single sideband, my step size is obviously smaller. 
now it's 100 Hertz and now it's 1 kilohertz. actually the rig does not show the 10 Hertz steps but it does tune in between 100 Hertz but it just doesn't show it on the display so the uh, uh, rig gives an, a smooth tuning uh, experience it's not like it's a 100 Hertz step uh, tuning and we're back to FM now the rig covers 430 to to 450 you see 430 is the lowest, 450 is the highest, which is where most of the activity of the 70 centimeter band is concentrated there is a section 420 to 430 for ATV amateur television but nobody actually uses that so I guess they're gonna lose that one of these days oh here is a button to lock the dial, I forgot about that so uh, there is some settings you can set here by opening this hatch uh, CW delay, Fox delay, Fox gain, anti-Fox and CW monitor those are the adjusters that you see there those are kind of hidden away, away behind this hatch because they're not that often used very nice rig, it's very solidly built and uh, let's see what uh, what I can do in terms of power and modulation let's try to uh, reach a repeater uh, I got a little app here on my phone that tells me what repeaters we have in the neighborhood uh, one is uh, WB4FOW uh, PL tone is 77 Hertz 444.450 megahertz we have a plus 5 megahertz uh, offset so uh, let's uh, go set that up 444 that was the uh, frequency we uh, have to set our PL tone for that we will go to this list here in the manual uh, here you can see uh, number 4 corresponds to the 77 Hertz so let's uh, do that 5 4 a little bit difficult with one hand but here we are we have a positive offset that is now set we have 5 megahertz that is default and we need to activate the tone which we do with that button and we are at the FM FM mode and let's see what happens and we actually got that to work now if I turn off the tone you will notice that it won't work anymore so the PL tone needs to be activated for it to work now if we have the wrong tone okay now we have the wrong one 7 is 85.4 and that doesn't work either so you gotta set the right PL tone you gotta set the offset correct and the offset frequency and then you're good to go let's try a repeater that's a little bit closer so we got more signal strength the one that I showed you was kind of far away uh, here we have uh, N9OJ 444.6 megahertz and a PL tone of 82.5 and a plus 5 megahertz shift um, 82.5 that corresponds to number 6 on my dial here so let's go to tone number 6 uh, we are still in duplex we have the tone activated we are still in FM and now we need to set the frequency and what was it 44 444.6 pretty close to the one we had let's see if that works and that doesn't because it is at 
I have to go to plus and now we're good as you see that one is pretty close to me and again if I turn off the uh, tone I am not able to open it I do need to set the correct tone otherwise this repeater cannot be opened and that's basically how you set repeaters uh, all right let's try a uh, single sideband here um, upper sideband is what is normally used on 70 centimeters 430.2 is the calling frequency I do have it on a dummy load right now so we don't actually want to call out but uh, just to show you the performance I have a, uh, a FT817 as a monitor receiver One two three four five testing upper side band one two three four five. That sounds pretty good. The uh, Yezu and the Icom differ 79 hertz, so uh, that is pretty accurate. One two three four five. Hard to say which rig is uh, is uh, the one that is really off here, but. This is way within the specification. Upper sideband 430.2 megahertz. Let's try uh, frequency modulation. Okay, let's try the FM mode. Now, as you, as you can see, the rig compensates uh, for the filter uh, uh, center frequency or side frequencies. This is uh, our center frequency for FM that we want. If I go to upper side, lower side band, or upper side band, it puts the carrier uh, at the lower side of the filter, and in lower side band, puts the carrier to the upper side of the filter. So if you don't want that, you need to compensate for that on the dial. Uh, for FM, we're obviously centered, and that's where we are. 442.2 is what we have. That's also what we have on our monitor receiver here, and uh, we're probably ready to go. We're at maximum power. Uh, maximum power corresponds to one, two, three. Maximum power is 25 watts for this rig. As you can see, I have a uh, 500 watt slug in the bird, so it's not very accurate. Uh, but uh, the full scale is 500 watts, and as you, if you look carefully, you can see that two and a half divisions are lit up. Two and a half divisions, and each division is 10 watts. So we are at 25 watts on the meter which is exactly what the rig is specified for now I can go to lower power okay this is the lowest power that it allows seems to be about 8 watts now of course the meter is not very accurate in these low ranges but um, but it's probably around 5 watts at the low level 25 at the high level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 modulation sounds pretty good 44 442.2 frequency modulation 1, 2, 3. 442.2 frequency modulation. And uh, we are in the dummy load. So we're not bothering anybody. And that's basically the uh, uh, simplex uh, frequency modulation. It sounds uh, pretty good. Let's try to receive some stations and uh, gives you a better indication. Not a lot going on during the day. At 70 centimeters, but maybe we can find something. Go to low power there, and it probably won't make much of a difference. But uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it uh, here. I'm sure other people pop up here and there, and there is somebody around town. Every street still WAD positively, absolutely gone. WAD. We'll see you later, Joel. Okay, 4 JBB. Good luck. like in the forecast for this coming week we may get a possibility of some rain but I don't think anything's going to happen till about the May June period when the summer rains will start okay um, taking a look at weather this morning um, before we do that though uh, before taking uh, check-ins this morning net control will stand by for any emergency or priority traffic
All right, that was it. The uh, uh, IC four seventy one A seventy centimeter transceiver, old mode, old mode radio from the late eighties. It's a good radio. This particular one is in very nice condition. So, uh, if you see one like these on flea markets, they're definitely worth the money. They do have the PL tone, like I showed you, so you can use them today on repeaters. Vintage radios with PL tones, that is pretty rare, but this one actually has that. Thank you for uh, watching this video.